If you've been struggling with women lately and you've been stru stuck in a rut and things just aren't going your way, like you have came back to your bad habits and you know, you just don't have the overall motivation to pursue your purpose. I definitely feel you. I definitely understand where you're coming from. I really used to struggle in that department with attracting women. I, I, I used to really struggle because I, I just got out of a breakup and I was watching porn a lot and I was literally in a bad spot, a bad situation. I didn't have the motivation to do anything at all. I didn't. I wasn't on a purpose. I didn't really have much of a, a relationship with God. You know what I mean? I didn't have God in my life like I do now. I didn't. I wasn't really going to the gym like that. I didn't have much of a self, sense of self love. I, I, I felt alone. I felt by myself. Like I had. I felt like I had no one in my corner. And you know, I was going through a breakup and. I hadn't really developed myself enough mentally and spiritually and emotionally to really be able to be in a relationship, you know what I mean, and handle it. So the number one thing that you need to remember, that you need to keep in mind if you're struggling to meet women or you're struggling with date naps or whatever the case may be, you got to understand that before you can love someone else, you have to love yourself. You have to love yourself before you can love anyone else. Somebody I know, one of my roommates back in college told me that one time, and it really stuck with me. I really like, I really remembered that. I never forgot it. So you gotta love yourself before you, love, before, any, before you can love anyone else, before anyone else can love you. You gotta love yourself. You gotta be happy with being with you you know, you got to be happy with, you got to be comfortable in your own skin. You got to be happy with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because think about it. If you don't want, if you don't want to be around yourself, if you're not enjoying your own company, then how can you expect someone else to enjoy your own company? You know what I mean? So I used to really struggle with this a lot back in the day. And recently I've noticed that I've almost kind of sort of slipped back into a rut where I just, you know, I've been <laughs> eating a bunch of Jack in the, like Jack in the Box and uh, Pizza Hut and Papa John's every single night and um, Bojangles, that's what it was. Yeah. So I've really been messing up lately and like I've been staying up real late, sleeping in to an extent and like, cause I used to be extremely productive. Like, I was getting up at like 5 a.m. Now, I'm still on my purpose. I'm still working on myself. I'm still exercising. I'm still getting things done. I just haven't been as uh, efficient with it as I would like to be, as, you know, as punctual. So the best way to literally get back into the flow of things, to get back where you need to be, and I'm going to get to like the dating part in a second, but the best way to get where you need to be. Now, first, first of all, you need to focus on getting on your purpose and building a close relationship with God. You know what I mean? Just finding God, you know what I mean? Just loving God, finding him in your life and focus on your spirituality and meditating and being able to just be your true, authentic and pure self before you even start to try start a, try, try to start dating or whatever. You know what I mean? Just stay you. Now, when you're out in public and you're, you know, you're, you're grocery shop shopping or, you know what I mean, you're just out and about and you see an attractive woman that you want to go approach and talk to her, go up, you know what I'm saying, walk up to her, approach her. You know, if you're in school, you're on campus, go up to her, walk to her, walk up to her and approach her and be like, hey, I just seen you around. I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Raheem. What's your name? Or something like that. Something, you know what I'm saying? Something crazy. Something wild. Like, not wild, but just normal. You know what I mean? Just normal stuff. Like, hey, just say, hey, I just wanted to introduce myself. What's your name? My name is Raheem. I just wanted to introduce myself. But say it, you know, speak slowly, of course. Don't, you know, like, like don't don't speak fast and all that. You know what I mean? Because I, I get several comments with people talking about, you know, 
about their dating life and all that. And one thing that I have to point out is that I, I think dating apps are less authentic. They're not, they're like very convenient. Like I said, like they're like super convenient. So you don't, you don't have to put in any work. You know, when you, when you're approaching a woman in real life, you know, you, you have to have some balls to do that. You got to have confidence. That's what, that's something that a lot of my friends would always tell me. They say, Hey, bro, hey, hey, hey bro, you got some balls, man. You, you literally go up to her and like walk up to her and you don't even care. You know what I'm saying? But I think you really have to like have, a high level of confidence to even be able to do that. And I think that just makes it better. It makes you, I, I kind of like code approaching, but, but I'm not really speaking about code approaching. I'm just speaking about speaking to people, speaking to people that you come across, you know what I'm saying? You, you just naturally come across them. You speak to them, ask her for, for your number. You know, you want to ask her, does she want to go out sometime or something like that? And if she's into you, then she'll be like, yeah, you know what I mean? And then to take it from there, you know what I'm saying? And and people try to say that, yeah, like dating apps are really good. They they try to say, well, 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 dating apps are good. You know, matter of fact, it's take everything I say with a grain of salt. You know what I'm saying? Just because it works for me or something works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you or vice versa. You know, it's because I don't really like dating apps that much. Doesn't mean you won't like them that much. You can still use the dating apps. I'm not telling you not to use dating apps. Like, if you like using dating apps, continue using dating apps if you're getting success off of them. But for most men, like for most people, you know, it's just best for them to go approach people in person. I Like, I'm still on dating apps, you know what I'm saying? I get a lot of matches on these dating apps. I've been really successful with it. You know what I mean? But that's only because I've met a lot of people in person. I've had a lot of practice, you know what I'm saying? Approaching women in person. When like at school when I was in college or you know, when I was at a restaurant or wherever I was, you know what I'm saying? I just had the balls to ask a girl out, ask her for her number or something like that. And I wasn't scared, I wasn't nervous. Well, actually I was nervous sometimes, you know what I mean, before like but after once I started doing it you know, this it just you know it just became just like I just knew how to do it. I just I just knew how to talk to people, knew how to speak to people. So like when I was in college and it was like homecoming or something like that. It's like I felt like you know I had my homeboy with me, you know, right there with me. You know who you are, but um, and it just felt like I naturally just attracted people to me. You know what I'm saying? And you have to be more social. You know what I mean? You got to be more social. You can't just sit in the house all day and be on your computer or be working all day. You got to go outside and interact with people, work on your social skills. That's going to be something that really helps you get out there. Because when you're on dating apps, you're at a you're at a disadvantage on dating apps. You really are because there's a whole lot of other dudes. You know what I'm saying? She got a whole lot of other dudes in her inbox trying to trying to talk to her. Dudes like me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got a whole lot of dudes that's out here trying to talk to her. And and then, and then there's you. So, and that just makes it very tough because I don't know. I just don't trust dating apps. There's something about it just doesn't seem right to me. You know what I mean? So, like, you're already at a disadvantage because you're on a dating app. Because all they have to go off of is your looks, like how you look and all that. And, you know, you can be a Chad or, or Tyrone, be look, you can look really, really good. And you still could have trouble on dating apps because you can't, you can't convey your personality and your masculine energy and your, you know what I'm saying, your intelligence, your integrity, all that stuff. You can't, you can't convey your aura and your and your personality through a dating app or through texting, you know what I mean? Especially in, in the initial attraction part, you know what I'm saying? And just recently, I, you know, when I message people on dating apps, I'm like, well, you know what? I'm not going to sit here and try to entertain them and, and uh, 
be a dancing monkey or stuff like that. I'm just gonna, uh, ooh, shit. I'm just going to uh, have a, 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 like, I'm literally just gonna be normal, completely just normal. I'm not gonna do anything out of the ordinary. Hey, how are you? Or have, something like that, you know what I mean? Just normal, normal human interaction. And it's like, nowadays, since this online stuff, it's like, A, men can't compliment a woman or hold the door open for her or buy her flowers or do something nice for her without people calling him, calling him a simp. Or, you know, when you do something nice for her, she's going to lose attraction, you know what I'm saying, to you. And and then it's going to be, you know, that's just weird. That's that, it's, it's a weird society we live in, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a very weird society because you when you compliment somebody there's they should you know you think it should be simple and they would appreciate it and they would like you more but instead they like you less so you have to literally pretend not to like someone in order to get them to like you now everybody like, like we all know that there is something wrong with that that is not right you know what I'm saying? That don't sound right at all. And that ain't, the, I mean, like, that ain't the type of person that you want to be around. You don't want to marry someone like that. You don't even want to be around someone like that, even if you're just trying to uh, have fun and stuff like that. That ain't something you want in your life. So now you 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 definitely want to be on your purpose. Like you definitely got to be on your purpose. And this is one thing. This is one thing that I had to learn the hard way, too, because I get on this dating app on these dating apps. Like I I, I I'll have periods in my life where I'm like, yeah, I just want to focus on myself. I just want to, you know, focus on business and, and the gym and, you know, just my personal growth and all that. Then I'm like, oh, man, I I really want to have some women in my life. I'm going to talk to some women or something like that. So I go ahead and get back on the dating apps. I start putting myself out there more. And then once I have a couple of women that's in my life and they're like, I'm talking to them and stuff. I'm like, oh man, actually, I just want to be by myself. I don't want to talk to anybody right now. I just want to focus on me and my growth and, and all that. I don't know why I'm like that, but that's basically how it's been lately. And I think that you go through these extremes where it's like, okay, well, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to do this, right? You know what I'm saying? How you, have, you have the extremes, you're extremely productive, and then you have the the side where you're extremely unproductive. And that's kind of how I, I can be at, at times. But I found that you can do both. You can actually do both. And I think doing both is actually more beneficial. Because when your primary focus is on your business, when it's on your purpose, you know what I'm saying? When it's on your mental health, when it's on, it's literally bettering yourself, you literally become more attractive to a woman. You know what I'm saying? Because think about it. You're not putting her on a pedestal. You're not smothering her and, you know what I'm saying, texting her back every five seconds. See, I don't text anybody back every five seconds. I will text here and there most of the time. You know, because I'm busy. I have things going on. I work, you know, I do gig work, stuff like that. And I do, I'm working on some music too, starting to do that. You know, meditate, prayer. I record YouTube videos. I have stuff going on. I work out. I'm busy. I don't have time to just sit around and text. So I'm on my purpose and I have, and I'm focused on something. So in order to be successful with dating, you need to be focused on something. You know what I'm saying? You need to be like, you need to have a primary goal that you're trying to reach. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the, the real key to masculinity is literally working towards something. And you are literally obsessing over that goal. You know what I mean? You really want this goal and you're obsessing over it. And she'll literally see that. She will literally see that you are disciplined and you are an ambitious man. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're goal oriented, you're working on yourself, you're strong, you're confident. And it, it'll make you more confident too when you're on your purpose and when you're like, like literally going and pursuing something that you want to do. You know what I mean? So a lot of people, 
you know, they have trouble with, you know what I'm saying, like with dating and all that. And I think the one of the things, because it's either you're on the side where you're being very desperate and needy and you don't have anything going for you in life or you're not working towards anything. So you're just kind of sitting there and, you know what I'm saying, trying to uh, be in somebody's face all day. Or you're on the other side where you're on self-improvement heavy. Like you're, you know, you're really committed. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you meditate all day, you journal, you go to the gym and you work and that's all you basically do. And you don't get, you don't really get any socialization throughout the day. You don't really practice on, you know, practice your social skills or your skills of flirting, or you don't, you know, you don't, you, you don't get out there much. So then when you go out in public, you seem weird. You seem like a weirdo because you don't, ever talk to people and i've definitely been there when i'm just 100 percent focused on uh self-improvement i'm focused on becoming the best version of myself and getting my money up and then next thing you know next thing you know i'm like okay well i don't have any women in my life i'm by myself or whatever or something you know and There'll be an attractive, uh, attractive girl over there. And I'm, you know, I don't even know what to do. You know what I'm saying? So, and all, a lot of people online and stuff, because I, I saw somebody commenting on a, like, uh, I don't know, the, 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 the MGTOW movement or something like that. I don't know what that is, but a lot of people are making it popular to, to, to be single and to be on your grind and focused on yourself and everything and not have a woman or, you know, just not go talk to people. And it's not really because they're focused on themselves. The real reason here is that a lot of men are petrified of speaking to women in public, in person. They are scared. They're cowards. They don't, you know what I'm saying? They lack the confidence to, to actually go up to someone and speak to them. And trust me, I know I've been there before. I've been there where I lacked the confidence where I couldn't walk up to a woman. And when I was walked up to her, I was t -t 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 like I was stuttering and stuff like that. I, I didn't know what to say. You know what I'm saying? I've been in those situations before, but I am here to tell you that you can get through it. You just have to do it. You got to practice. You got to practice, practice it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Practice it. You know what I'm saying? Because and a lot of men will literally comment on my videos and say that, oh, I can't meet people in person. There, there, there's nobody outside. I can't meet people in person. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Go to the club? And, then, and I'm like, yo, pe people are really making excuses. There's plenty of people to meet in person. You know what I'm saying? Let's just be honest. The real reason you want to stay on that dating app is not because you don't want to meet people in person. It's because you are afraid to approach a woman in person. You are afraid that she's going to reject you. And you need to let go of that fear. And you got to be confident in yourself. You got to be confident in your abilities and who you are as a man. And you can't allow that nervousness that fear to stop you because there's plenty of places that you can meet people in person because that's actually the natural way to do it i don't know why people are so against the organic and authentic natural way to do it yeah society has changed a lot you know what i'm saying things are changing things are becoming more technology tech technology tech tech savvy <laughs> technology is becoming is taking over robots taking over the universe or whatever all that right technological that's what i was trying to say but that does not mean you have to follow it you can still do things your own way don't allow society to to paint your perspective of the world. Don't allow society to tell you how you're going to live your life. 
You don't set your standards according to society. You set your standards according to you, to your values, to what you believe in, to what you think is important. And you will go out there and you're gonna do your thing. You're gonna do you, you know what I'm saying? And you ain't gonna worry about what anyone else thinks. So you walk up to somebody and they don't like you. So what? You know what I'm saying? Forget about it. Move on to the next one. And like I said, dating apps ain't bad. If it works for you, it works, it works for you. But you got to do what works best for you. And I'm on a journey trying to improve myself. You know what I'm saying? Spirituality, I think it's very important. You know what I'm saying? I want to. I have a lot of things I want to do. A lot of things I'm planning on doing. Pretty soon... I'll probably be making a Patreon or something like that. And I'll post more music related content in there and stuff like that. And if you'd be interested in that, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you, if you're on the same journey or you're on the same path where you want to become more spiritual, develop a, a, a very close relationship with God, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Never miss a video. Turn on that those post notifications or something like that. Whatever they say, the bell. I don't know. But, um, yeah. My name is Raheem the Goat. I don't really know. This video is probably all over the place. I don't even know what it was going to be about before I even started, started talking. But never give up. Your younger self is rooting for you. Peace.